Hey Hustlers, it's Simli here. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide on setting up your TikTok pixel on your website. So before we do anything else, first, you will need to install the TikTok helper. This Chrome extension allows you to check if your pixel is firing or if it's installed properly. So now Google TikTok helper. And you want to click on the first one. Then install it. So once you have installed it, you should see this blue icon on the top right side corner of your menu bar. Okay, so now we have got it done. Let's head over to TikTok Ads Manager and get back to what we came here for, which is to set up TikTok Pixel. Okay, so first go to library at the menu bar and click on events, then click on manage button under website pixel. Then you want to click on create pixel and name your pixel and then click on manually install pixel code and click next. Now copy this pixel code here and you'll need to include them in your website theme. In this case, you're using Shopify and the setup is pretty much the same for other platforms. So let's go to Shopify dashboard and set this up. Go to your theme and edit code. You want to place this TikTok pixel code in your head tags. Click on theme liquid and paste your TikTok pixel code. Then go to your checkout setting page and paste it in your additional script section. Okay, so now the first stage of setup is done. Let's set up a custom code for TikTok so you can track your events properly and run your ads more efficiently. Click next. So TikTok has come out with a few custom series of events depending on one's nature of business. So since I'm setting this up for an e-commerce store, I'll choose e-commerce events. Okay, so here are the types of events that you can track. You, uh, there are view product details, add to cart, place an order and complete payment. I'm going to remove place an order because complete payment can just tell me that I don't need two events to track this behavior. Then you want to set up your currency and decide whether you want this event to fire once, which is based on a unique person's action or on every action that's not unique to a person. So once you have decided on that, click next. Okay, so let's set this custom event by giving it the exact location where it should fire. So for product views, let's track it by page URL. I'm going to put products here and then click save. Now click on add to cart and this is a bit tricky. How you set this up depends very much on your theme. So for add to cart, um, we want to track based on click events. I'm going to grab a product page URL and paste it in here. And then you can just click on the areas that you want to track and save it. It will automatically appear as one of the tracking rules. But we can't do it here. Um, we can't do it like that because as you can see, it takes on other elements in the product page, like the color, swatches, and size. So instead of selecting the areas from our site, we are going to include the CSS code for the Add to Cart button and also the Buy It Now button. So once that is done, Let's save it, move on to complete payment. Okay, so we are going to include the page URL for this and the word to include here is orders. Again, this is based on Shopify's complete order page. It may be different for you. It could be the word thank you for you. So you have to check your site for this URL option. Okay, and now it's done, save and complete. Let's see if it's firing correctly. Get to your website and click on TikTok Helper. There should be an event triggered on your homepage or your product page and your pixel ID should also appear here. Let's see how it looks like on a TikTok event dashboard. Because this is a test pixel, we won't be able to see any data. So let's see how it looks like when you have your pixel set up correctly. You should see some activities here. All right, so that's it for our TikTok Pixel setup tutorial. I hope you managed to get your TikTok Pixel um, up and running. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions about TikTok advertising and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more TikTok and e-commerce related tutorials. Have a good day. Bye.